Welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. Today we are going to sketch this beautiful caster wheel. See it is rotating around like this and this is also rotating and this is the our mounting plate fixed around this. It is fixed with nut bolt inside. I hope you will like. So let's start each and every part we will design and assemble in our tutorial lecture. Let's start. Now we will sketch part number 1 mounting plate for caster wheel. So let's start choose top plane sketch. Select center rectangle and draw one rectangle and keep diameter length 175 mm 140 mm. Okay. Choose radius Seventeen mm and select all circles. Okay, now choose circle. Draw four circles in every corner. Assign diameter. 14 mm ok now select all the four circles press shift key select all four circles and assign relation here equal ok now select extruded boss select 10 mm ok choose perspective Assign the material sandblasted steel okay. Now select this wax surface is sketch normal. Select circle and draw one circle here. Keep diameter 112 mm. Okay. Select extruded boss and extrude up to 20 mm. Okay. Now choose right plane, sketch, normal. Select circle and draw one circle. Meet with this point. Assign diameter 6 mm. Select length and draw one vertical length. This is the rubber. We are going to make rubber packing. So just select this line. Choose construction geometry. Choose revolve boss base and revolve about this line. This is the rubber packing. Okay. Now assign this part as a rubber. Rubber. Choose matte rubber. Now select this face, sketch, normal. And now we want to draw a one bolt part here. Assign 15, 15 mm diameter. Select extruded boss. Select. Now assign height 25 mm. Okay, choose chamfer, select 1 mm, now go to insert annotation and we will assign some cosmetic thread, select 
select this age choose metric mechanical thread okay assign this up to up to next select okay now thread is not looking so just go to option detailing in click here shaded cosmetic thread okay now see the threads are looking now this is the mounting plate select this top surface sketch normal draw a circle here 90 mm select extruded cut cut up to depth 2 mm okay now save this part create new folder in desktop caster v open this is part number 1 mounting plate now we will sketch hexagonal nut for uh, mounting plate choose top plane sketch select hexagon and draw one hexagon now exit select this point and this point same now assign distance between this select 22 mm okay select extruded boss select 10 mm now choose top surface sketch normal and we want to create a hole for thread select a diameter diameter 15 okay select extruded cut select through all okay now choose chamfer 1 mm select inside surface okay see now choose right plane a sketch select normal draw one plane now choose a line and we want to create some draw a triangle exit select distance one point five by one point two mm again choose here and draw the same as here exit 1.5 and 1.2 okay now select revolve cut choose okay select okay now see the nut shape ready now we will assign some cosmetic thread here assign material satin finish stainless steel okay 
Now go to insert, annotation and cosmetic thread. Select this edge up to next. Clear, select this edge. Up to next, choose OK. Now go to option, documents property, detailing and click here shaded cosmetic thread OK. Now see it's looking shaded. Now save as nut. Part 2 nut. Caster wheel save. Uh, sorry, re again, again save. We save the wrong name. Nut. Now let's move for next part. Now we will sketch third part of caster wheel horn, caster horn. So choose top plane, sketch, draw a circle here and keep diameter 150 mm. Okay. Now select extruded boss, keep height 10 mm. Okay. Choose fillet. 2 mm or 1 mm. Select this round edge. OK. Now select front plane. Choose plane. We want to create one plane 47 mm. away okay now select this plane sketch normal now we want to create some geometry here select a line Exit, assign this length of the 50 mm, the same length we will define the next direction, exit, assign 50 mm, ok, draw a circle here. Now assign the radius, diameter 30 mm and distance from here to one end, height keep 170 mm. And this width 147 mm. Select OK, choose line and connect from this line to this line, exit. Again choose from here to, sorry, make this diameter 60. Again choose line and connect from this end to as a tangent. Exit. Now select both this, choose tangent. Here tangent already selected. Choose stream entity, delete inside. Select OK. Now choose circle and draw a circle in midpoint and keep the radius 
डायमीटर 15 एम दिस इज फॉर बोल्ट नाउ सेलेक्ट एक्सट्रूडेड बॉस सेलेक्ट 8 एम आउटसाइड चूज ओके नाउ हाइड दिस प्लेन नाउ सेलेक्ट दिस फेस स्केच नॉर्मल चूज ए लाइन ड्रॉ ए ज्योमेट्री एग्जिट अगेन चूज ड्रॉ ए लाइन फ्रॉम exit draw a three point arc and draw a half circle here now exit select this two lines make relation tangent here also two line tangent now this is the tangent select connect from one end to another end now exit Select extruded boss and extrude up to four mm. Okay. Now choose fillet one mm. Select inside top side. choose okay now select dome select this face make only up to 1 mm we want a small dome not much bigger select okay i think 1 mm see in next tutorial select back side sketch normal select line diagram now select this inside line press shift key select convert entities choose line connect from here to here now exit select extrude cut and cut up to 4 mm inside okay that's it choose fillet keep 1 mm select top inside select okay now this one part is almost ready now we will just make mirror choose front plane mirror about now select this all the parts select okay now see 
this created now select this top surface sketch normal and draw a circle here keep diameter 15 mm select extruded cut and choose through all ok so this is the mounting plate for our wheel now save as a horn part number 3 horn now let's go for next part now we will make bolt Select top plane, sketch, choose hexagon, now assign 22 mm for bolt, select extruded boss, select 10 mm, ok. Now select back surface, sketch, draw a circle here. Keep the diameter 15 mm. Select extruded boss 126 degree, 126 mm. This much length we want. Select OK. Choose chamfer 1 mm this face. OK. Select front plane, sketch, normal. Now we want to make some cutout. Select line and draw one vertical line. Exit. Now draw some geometry here. Now exit. Choose a smart dimension and assign the distance. 1.5 1.2 mm and this one 1.2 now we will make revolve cut choose revolve cut C is going to be cut I think uh, we took uh, wrong delete it exit we have to take right plane oh, okay right plane is sketch normal now here we we can assign those things Select for construction. Exit from the line. Now assign some dimension for this. 1.5, 1.2 mm. The same as down also. Now select revolve cut. This cut we want. Select OK. Now this bolt almost ready. Assign material. Stainless steel. Go to insert annotation and assign some cosmetic thread. Choose this edge. and assign only up to 20 mm ok now go to option documents detailing 
and select here shaded cosmetic thread ok now see the threads are looking now save as a part number 4 bolt ok now let's move for next part now we will sketch wheel for caster wheel so let's start choose front plane sketch draw a circle and keep the diameter it 300 mm this is the diameter of our wheel choose offset entity select 12 mm and select the circle we want to keep inside so choose reverse ok now select extruded boss base choose mid plane and we want width 80 mm ok now assign appearance mat rubber choose face some adjust the appearance as per our requirement ok choose fillet select this face make fillet 3 mm ok this fillet also need to make color ok now we will create inside caster wheel this metal wheel so just select top plane sketch normal now select a center line exit select this line make horizontal choose center line and draw one line vertical exit now I start to draw geometry from here connect this end now exit now we will define some dimension make length 45 mm forty two mm thirty eight mm one point five mm and this length six mm and the angle hundred degree the same as angle here 100 degree and this length keep 40 mm will 12 mm and the distance from here to this line it should be 276 by 2 138 mm it should be make this one reverse and this distance keep 8.5 mm ok now select this all geometry select mirror about 
select this line also now choose here mirror about this line select ok now select revolve boss base choose this line as a axis select ok now select this revolve boss base and assign some material steel carbon steel now select edit feature and here unmerge result ok now see it's looking our wheel <coughs> now choose top plane sketch normal now select here line diagram <coughs> and uh, we want to create some geometry here exit assign Twenty by thirty five mm Okay. Now choose this geometry here. Select extruded boss, choose mid plane, select 25 mm, ok. This also, this is the port for, we are going to make a port for greasing. Select this face, sketch, draw a hexagon here. from mid plane ok any type of hexagon 5.5 mm ok now choose this face sketch First, draw a center line. Exit. Now, draw a circle. Select extruded boss. Choose 3 mm and 30 degree. Select OK. Now this is the top plane so select top plane sketch normal choose line diagram now we want to draw some circle here up to midpoint take it back and draw a circle up to this point and connect this point now exit select this line we want continuous line this also choose continuous line and this part also choose continuous line so this is the geometry we created draw a one center line exit 
select this line choose this line this point and select this line make coincide choose revolve boss base select select this face line about this now see this is the grease knob so just uh, select these three parts click carbon stainless steel okay now select this center point a sketch normal now draw a circle here keep 15 mm bolt okay select extruded cut choose through all okay see the bolts are created now save as a part number 5 wheel now we will start assembly uh better uh, we will assign some fillet also keep 3 mm keep 5 mm select this side also okay this fillet okay this revolve boss base now we will start assembly of caster wheel so let's start we created all the parts choose new select assembly okay browse over first part mounting plate change background color plain now insert component choose nut and horn open now drag this here now assign mat choose this circle clear and assign this face as a concentric okay drag down select this face and this face okay see it is met select this nut inside circle and this circle concentric okay bottom of this clear nut plus top of bottom of this okay now nut bolt fixed see it is rotating but this is fixed now we will bring the wheel okay now rotate the wheel select okay now choose this inside circle mat 
this inside circle select ok now just drag it and go to advanced mat choose width select this face the same as back face inside this face horn and this face select ok now see it is fixed here insert component the last component bold ok now select this inside mat choose bold ok select this face and the bold fa back face ok now the bolts are fixed ok now again bring our previous nut choose inside mat select this nut oh, sorry bolt select the back face of nut as well as this face ok so now the nut bolt and everything finish so our caster wheel is ready ok now see the select this body this is fixed no, not fixed rotating see see the wheels are rotating around this caster this mounting plate i hope you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to share and like our video thanks for watching now save as a assembly